All right, I'm going to do a quick walk around of this Mongoose 184 trailer jet, 184 standing for 18 gallons a minute, 4,000 PSI. As you can see, we'll start right from the front here. Um, this is a cast iron bulldog hitch, best hits in the industry. So none of the thin walled uh, tra trailer hitches that you typically see on a trailer this size that kind of get banged up and need replaced once or twice a year. Heavy duty cast iron right from the tip of this mongoose. So this particular unit's got uh, multiple options on it. It's got three different hose reels. It's got a wash down system, remote control, antifreeze, uh, winterization, two different fill systems. So I'm gonna go over these things uh, thoroughly but briefly uh, as I can. So right from the top here, you got your 3 8 hose cart. It's uh, 200 feet of 3 8 piranha hose onto a wheeled heavy duty cart. And that's because obviously 200 feet of 3 8 hose is considerably heavier than say the 1 8 hose over there that's got 100 feet of piranha hose on it. And then up here, your quarter inch has 100 feet of piranha. All of these mini reels come with two uh, nozzles, a penetrator and a flusher. All of them are set up the same. Your half inch jetter hose would attach to the adapter which has a gauge on it. That way you can take these directly to your clean out and do your jetting right from there without having to have three, four, five hundred feet of three eighths, eighth inch or quarter inch hose uh, connected to your jetter, which greatly reduces um, your pressure drop. So 500 feet of eighth inch hose literally um, causes you to lose uh, thousands of PSI where going through 500 feet of half inch hose and then through just a hundred foot of the small hose uh, greatly increases your, your uh, performance at the nozzle. All right, so obviously you can see the, uh, the steel engine shroud, the U-door pump that produces 18 gallons a minute, 4,000 PSI. It is a run dry pump. So if you run your, your water tank dry, you don't have to worry about it uh, hurting your pump. It also uh, is built onto a spring-loaded uh, pressure relief valve. So there's no disc to change. You don't have to stop your job if you happen to go over pressure. It just activates the spring-loaded system, dumps a little water back into the tank and balances out the pressure for you, okay? Now this is a uh, air purge system with this little backup, it's just an emergency backup system that, that, we, that we build onto the jetter just in case you're in sub-freezing temperatures and um, maybe you don't have any antifreeze or you run out of gas on the jetter and you can't get your pump started and it's full of water, you could actually uh, just attach that, uh, that Schrader valve adapter into your purge system, uh, open up the bleeder valves and blow air, you can completely dry it out. This particular unit has two fill systems on it. You got your garden hose fill system, which has 100 feet of 5 8 inch heavy duty garden hose, which is plumbed directly into the poly tank. And I'm sure you can notice that that tank is black, not white. We don't like algae growing in your water. Therefore, we do our tanks black to prevent the sun rays from getting in there and making that uh, algae concoction. So you got your two and a half inch uh, hydrant fill system, which also comes with an adapter if you wanted to hook a garden hose onto that. Um, and also would come with 25 feet of fire hydrant hose, which is currently stored in the toolbox on the opposite side. All right, so you got your uh, dual front opening aluminum toolboxes. As you can see, there's a nozzle adapter uh, mounted on the back. And of course your warthog and your two standard nozzles, one penetrator, one flusher. And the Warthog also does come with the service kit. Now you see there's a hose laying here on the ground. That's because this, this unit is uh, equipped with a wash down system. So you can see there's a quick connect there. This is 25 feet of hose with a wash down gun. You just simply switch from pressure, hose, pressure on sewer hose to pressure on wash down gun. So when you're done jetting, you might need to clean up a driveway from doing a dig, from uh, cleaning out a manhole or a pump that's down in a deep pit. This is a great wash down system. It's built with its own PRV. It's already installed and mounted on the tank so you don't have to worry about over pressurizing when you're using the system. Also this jetter can be controlled by the NEMA 4 control panel which is mean, NEMA 4, meaning it's completely weatherproof, okay? Or 
you control it with what everyone knows is the best remote control system in the jetting industry. It's got a line of sight range of five eighths of a mile. But what that really means to you is that you're not going to lose continuity uh, in situations where you might be in a basement, a sub basement. I know of a situation where a technician uh, has his jetter completely shut and locked inside of a truck and goes two stories under the street and doesn't lose connection with his remote control. And um, there's not a lot of jetters out there that can make that claim. So as you can see, the hose reel turns easily. 90 degrees both directions and it'll also lock in place uh, in every two inch increment. Very flow valve, which is built into every mongoose jetter, uh, that allows you to control the flow. So if you're gonna hook your half inch hose up to say a three eighths or an eighth or a quarter inch smaller reel, you can adjust the flow so you're getting maximum flow at your 4,000 PSI without overpressurizing. It's a beautiful thing. So you're, you're actually maximizing your pressure uh, instead of just trying to jam as much water as possible through a hose that's too small to handle it. Okay, you've got digital controls here. That's for your dashboard. That's for your engine reading, for um, diagnosing, and for oil pressure, engine hours, RPMs. Um, and like I said before, everything on this jet is controllable at the control panel. You also have a variable speed, uh, which is for your hydraulic, um, the hydraulic control for your hose reel. So you, you can go as slow as you want and as fast as you want, and it's got uh, a, a great range. So you want to go out fast, come back nice and slow to go, do a good job on a cleaning, no problem. Just set that variable speed and um, let the jetter do the rest of the work. And one last thing I want to point out that gets kind of overlooked a lot of times when you're looking at which jetter to choose. I want you to look at the thickness of this one piece hose reel. Uh, it's about double the thickness of most of the ones you'll see on the market. It's uh, super heavy duty and it's one piece. So this isn't two pieces bolted together where the bolts come loose and over time they, they break or you have to tighten them up. Um, ours are welded one piece um hose reels which you can get up to 600 feet of half inch hose if you like it would come standard with 500 and one more thing that i wanted to add um that uh that bearing that carries our hose reel that's a 7500 pound swivel bearing um again strongest in the industry and i don't even think it's close so this particular jetter is about to get delivered uh but we can talk about which options suit you uh, how you would like yours designed, and I'd be glad to get you a quote. Mongoose Mike, walk around video, April 2021.